the long hair, the outlandish outfits, the scantily clad women. Peter Stringfellow epitomized excess in an era that encouraged it. He was flamboyant from an early age, attributing a short prison sentence for selling stolen carpets to getting him focused in life, first as a club promoter in Yorkshire. You got the Beatles. I said, who are they? I've never heard of them. Before hitting the bright lights of London and opening his eponymous nightclub, the must-be-seen place in the 1980s. Champagne flowed, celebrities flocked here, the tone very much set by the owner. I mean, do I enjoy myself eating, drinking champagne, vodka, and making love to beautiful young girls? It gets a bit boring occasionally. As licensing laws were relaxed, it became a gentleman's club in the 90s, which it still is today. But one of Stringfellow's oldest friends, the actress Vicky Michelle, says the gentleman at the heart of it all had time for everyone. And that was his success. He never spent more attention with someone, a celebrity, rather than the bloke who regularly came and, and drank at the bar. And, and I think that was his endearing quality, that he treated everyone as equal. In later years, the 77-year-old wasn't as prominent. He kept his treatment for lung cancer a decade ago a secret, the same for his time in hospital in the last few weeks as the disease returned. His third wife, Bella, was with him throughout, a private end to what was unashamedly a life lived in the very public eye.